I try, <laughs> I try to tell y'all, man. We're Brooklyn. We're Brooklyn. We're Brooklyn. It's your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly First Going There's Philly Philly the Podcast. So we're gonna talk a little bit, a little NBA finals, a little NBA playoffs. Excuse me. We're gonna talk a little NBA playoffs. I'm getting a little ahead, ahead of myself because I'm, I'm so excited. You know, I, I knew that it was gonna take a little bit of time for these Brooklyn Nets to get it together, but I have, you know, a little disappointed it took that long. But realistically, that second half was a dog fight. That's the that's the Brooklyn that I want to see for the rest of this this series, for the rest of this playoffs. All right, I love that Nick Claxton was out there. We need to get the ball in James Harden's hand. He needs to be the guy pushing the ball. It's just obvious that he makes the the offense run better. Um, Kyrie and Kevin Durant, they're just gonna post up and shoot once the ball reaches their hand. So it is what it is, you know. It, if you can't fix it, you got to work around it, right? So, and then Joe Harris needs to step up. I'm, I'm getting tired of Joe Harris. I don't really know why he can't hit consistent three-pointers anymore. Maybe he's just not getting the shots. Um, it was weird to not see DeAndre Jordan play. I don't know if he was hurt or something. Maybe they're just holding off, um, holding off on him because, I mean, if we go into the next round and have to play Giannis, I doubt that Blake Griffin is going to be the only guy that's going to be um, running that center position. Blake Griffin... Is garbage. Uh, it is. It is like our, our center position is just bad right now. We don't have a center. I mean, like it was bad. It was bad. I mean, Marvin Williams went crazy on us. I think that's his name or whatever the hell his name is. That boy went crazy on us. I think he had like eight blocks. We just had no down low presence at all. You know, like the the most that Blake Griffin did was fake a three pointer and get two um foul shots that's like that's like the crowning moment of his his game last night it is what it is the defense was playing good in the second half um realistically i feel like the defense kept us in this game and eventually got us the lead to be real like our offense was pretty bad our offense was just off like i think it was just getting used to each other and trying to get their shots back I think this was like less than 10 games that we've played together with, you know, KD, Harden, and um, Kyrie Irving. But look, the, end, the, the, the main goal is to get the win. I kept saying it yesterday when the game was going on. As long as we get out of here with a win and we're healthy, I don't care. You know, it was an ugly game. At the end of the day, you're going to have ugly games. I really think this is the best game that Boston's going to play us. This was their chance to steal a game on, on our home floor. This is probably the worst, I hope at least, this is probably going to be the worst game that we play. I don't see us scoring under 120 um, for the rest of this series, if I'm being 100% honest. I think that we're going to get this right. I thought Landry Shamit wasn't going to play. Apparently he did. Did all right. Um, Bruce Bowen needs to step up. He kind of looked like a deer in headlights. But I do like Nick Claxton a lot. I think Nick Claxton was around the ball a lot. I think he had like two blocks. There was a cup. There was a play on um, Jason Tatum where he tipped the ball and then he like glanced Jason Tatum's ha uh, like, you know, hairline or whatever you want to say. Like it was barely a touch and they called it a uh, foul. I like Nick Claxton a lot. I, I think a lot of Nets fans have been saying this from the beginning of the year that they're looking to him to have some type of breakout. Like I'm not going to say he's going to be the next great player or anything like that, but he has a very unique skill set. So I, I like seeing him play. I think he had like a little bit under 15 minutes yesterday. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Like I said, we have to figure out something down though, man, because we're going to run into someone way better than Marvin Williams. We're gonna we're gonna run into somebody way better than him. And he kind of he he ate on us, bro. It is what it is. It'll be interesting to see if they try to change anything up in this game, in game two. Um, but I don't know what you're going to change up. What it maybe maybe you just put, you know, Claxton on him see if he can do it. Maybe you you bring in Jordan see if Jordan can stop him. I mean, what options do you really have cuz realistically Jordan's not giving you, you know, 30 35 minutes. 
um, Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin was out there for a while, so maybe he can give you a, a solid 25, 30 minutes, but he's not a defender. He's not a top tier defender. Um, so, you know, look, it, it, it hurts that we don't have a big man, but we have to get this offense going. I think that no, coming into this, this playoff series, we knew that our, our defense wasn't gonna be the thing that brought us to the, the championship. And I don't think that changed. Uh, nothing changed over this first game. So we'll see. Like I said, I was impressed that our defense kept us in it. You know, it wasn't a high scoring game. We could have got blown out. We were missing everything. Thank God they were missing a lot of other shots too. And just taking bad shots. I, I think, you know, I don't want to talk too much about Boston because you know, I'm not really a fan of Boston. I really don't care. But as far as the Nets go, we were just taking terrible shots after terrible shot. And it felt like we were pushing it. We were we were trying too hard to get Kyrie going, to get KD going. Um, and like I said, man, you got to just get that ball in the James Harden's hands. He was getting some good passes. He had a couple bad turnovers, but for the most part, he was pushing the ball, and we were scoring. So, and even defensively, I mean, Kyrie was Kyrie's a dog. Like I don't like Kyrie. It is what it is. Like I've never really been a fan of Kyrie. Obviously, I do have his jersey now because he's a net, but. Man, that man's been shutting me up all year. Like, realistically, he's been kind of carrying the Nets. Like, he he really has. I know it's not a probably popular thing to say, but he's been going crazy this year. I will say Harden probably took us from a very, very good team to, like, a elite, you know, top tier. Oh, my God, you got three superstars. But Kyrie, honestly, has been – yeah, I think he played the most out of the big three, and he had a hell of a season. So, I mean – He's not a point guard in the sense that he's going to get you 10 assists every game, but Harden can do that. So we need to just kind of, you know, mold to that. We need to switch our goal and get into Harden being more of our number one guy, like our point guard. And, you know, I don't think he cares about the scoring. He said that before. It's about winning. So I'm, I'm confident, man. I'm hyped. I think that first half is the worst you're going to see these, these uh, Brooklyn Nets play. I think that you are not going to get much worse than that. It should only get better. These guys now have a game under them. You started seeing KD start hit, hitting those shots that you are known to see KD hit. You start seeing Kyrie, you know, start shaking, baking, getting into the lane. So you started seeing in the second half what this team is supposed to do. So I'm hyped. I'm hyped. If we can get any type of play out of DeAndre Jordan or Blake Griffin on the defensive side, I am going to go crazy. I think Jeff Green... You know, he did well yesterday, so I was happy about that. Bruce Brown, like I said, he has to, Bruce Brown has to get better. Bruce, I feel like he he's a great player defensively, especially. He just kind of looked lost like yesterday. Um, so I'm hoping that he gets better. But look, man, I tried to tell y'all that the Nets are going to take this in four. All right. If I could switch it to three, if they could, you know, mercy them after three games, I would probably do that. But I don't think it's going to be pretty after this game. I think it's going to be a lot of blowouts. So, it is what it is. I know I only, I only streamed like half of the game because I I'm terrible with making plans. But at the end of the day, I am gonna be streaming the rest of these games. I promise. I appreciate everybody that came through. That was a lot of fun. But y'all let me know. You know, and I know most of y'all are Sixer fans. So you know, let me know how y'all feel about these Sixers because y'all playing at like one o'clock. I'm definitely gonna be watching it. I, I'm recording this at like nine in the morning. So. I'm definitely hyped to see y'all play. Y'all better not lose because y'all was in my life with that smoke. And I will be right back with that smoke if y'all lose. But I'm cheering for y'all. I hope that we, you know, see each other in the Eastern Conference Finals. But other than that, y'all know what it is, man. It is fly goes fly, but, you know, it's still really where Brooklyn at, I guess, you know. But, yeah, we out here. Peace! We're Brooklyn at! We're Brooklyn at! We're Brooklyn at! We're Brooklyn at!